Hey, 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 how's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to answer the question, should you want to become a Twitch affiliate? I'm your host, Bogo Z. Grab your cuppa, find the coffee seat. Let's do this. I usually try to give you the answer to my questions as early as possible during the video because nowadays everyone wants a quick and easy solution but in this case I would like to talk about everything with you before giving you a definitive answer. Let's analyze both pros and cons of creating content on Twitch then we analyze the thoughts. Let's start with the pros. Easy access to monetization. Monetization opportunities are very, very easy on Twitch. Listen to my words, monetization opportunities are very, very easy because uh, you only need 50 followers and three average viewers at the time that I'm recording this video in order to unlock monetization. Community is great. That's the main feature of Twitch, the community. Um, everyone is a gamer, everyone uh, that jumps on Twitch generally wants to watch streamers and there is a great sense of community. So people are used to um, giving bits and cheers and, um, and, and, and give subscriptions. Um, so the opportunity there is great. Also, they have compatibility with outside services aka Twitch extensions. If you don't know what they are, I'm happy to do a deep dive on them and how Twitch extensions can really help you take your content to the next level. But you can't rely only on them because the whole point of Twitch extension is make it fun for the viewers to be around your stream. But if you have no viewers to start with, they're pointless. Do you see where I'm going with this? Now, time to talk about the cons. This early, yes, that's right. Um, I've been on Twitch for a year and a half, and this is my experience and some of the people that I've been in contact with and I'm still in contact with. Some of the common issues that are on Twitch and some of the, you know, good opportunities like we're talking about just now. So the first one is buy followers and viewer spots spam in chat. Has that ever happened to you? that you got nobody in chat and then all of a sudden you hit the ping of the message and you're excited, you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I got someone in chat, finally. You turn around to have a look at the message and you see, uh, do you want to be famous? Uh, buy followers or buy viewers at this website. Unfortunately, there are people that fall for it and this is a big warning, guys. Be careful because A, they are against terms of service, not just of Twitch, but all across the board. Second, they give you fake numbers. What it means is you may uh, um, appear that you have 20 viewers, but if there's nobody in chat, what have you achieved? And third point, mostly, is you don't create a community. You just put in your numbers. Point number two, we have bought rights. Has that happened to you? that you have 20 people um, following your channel and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I got people, finally I got people, rah, rah, rah. and then you, you see all those messages, racist messages and, and messages against you and everything and you're like, what? And that is one of the biggest problem with Twitch, that Twitch still haven't found a solution and connected that point I thought about talking down the line during the video, but this is just to show where are we at with Twitch now. Platform completely detached from streamers. Streamers have to fix their own problems. Seribot. Have you ever heard of Seribot? Which is a bot service created by one Twitch streamer, which he was sick of all those bot raids and Twitch not doing anything about it. They created his own service to get rid of all of the bots that come through and do bot raids. Seriously, a platform as big as Twitch, it took months to acknowledge the problem of the bot raids and didn't do much to prevent it. Next point, zero discoverability as live streaming. Live streaming is a new meta. 
right? Everyone wants to live stream. Everyone wants to, you know, go live with um, hundreds of people and, and play the favorite game and make money out of it. Yes, that's the dream, isn't it? Of course, it's the dream for everyone, including myself. But it is the new meta, which means that there are a lot of people doing it and there are about 9 million streams a month, right? It's insane. But most of those live streaming, about 90%, they have zero to one viewer. Because being the new meta means that you have a lot more competition. And if you just go live, mostly on platforms like Twitch that are designed for games, mostly, yes, you have just chatting and you have cooking, you have a lot of things, but most of Twitch is gaming. Let's be serious, right? So, and what most people don't realize is why should someone watch you instead of the other 8.5 million or whatever gamers that they play games literally live? right so there's zero discoverability as a small streamer if you're a small creator you have zero discoverability within twitch as well because twitch always shows off who has the biggest numbers of viewers because they make more money for them so it's worth for them to show them so they have a high chance to make money smart eh <laughs> now how do you fix this problem you use other platform to bring viewers to Twitch. And when the stream is finished, if you if you only uh, finish the stream there, you don't connect outside the stream, you're going to lose those viewers because you're not live. They're going to go watch someone else and they may not come back to watch you or they just may, but you don't know. So you have to bring them to other services like Discord or Gilded to keep them entertained. So you keep them in the loop, right? So it's all, you know, Twitch becomes only a part of what you're actually doing to grow. Because honestly, if you just want to play video games, go on Twitch. By any means, go on Twitch. If you want to grow, Twitch may be not great, but let's go through the list. Annoying and very intrusive ads. I've been on Twitch since May 2021. Yes, I have been on Twitch for the past two months because I'm on a two month a YouTube challenge where my YouTube is my main platform where I make all of the content that I make. And YouTube has ads like a lot of other platforms, but they are the short, or there's only, you know, one or two, or they're skippable ads, right? How Twitch is doing it, you have maybe a 30 seconds ad as soon as you start, which, okay, whatever, that's fine, right? But after a minute, you always get four to eight, up to eight ads, and you cannot skip them. So from a platform where you go watch people playing video games, it's becoming a platform where you go to see ads and they're always not skippable. Uh, they're always running in front of your face. Um, they, they, they have these new ways and, and, and it looks like Twitch is using all that effort on making sure that the ad is there but it's still not there. I don't know, like, uh, I don't know if you notice know there are a lot of ads when they do those ad breaks, right? Which is not a, a break for the streamer. The streamer is doing maybe uh, the final kill uh, on an FPS game or they are killing a boss in an RPG. It's not really a break. Uh, and they designed like that so viewers stay engaged because they they have to wait only a minute or two to finish watching that particular moment in the game so they stay hooked right so you have the biggest part of the screen with the ad and then the tiniest bit with the game so you're still kind of watching the ads also when you stream on twitch you have to stream for at least two or three hours right there's no other way around. 
you know so you can potentially look at streaming long hours on twitch because if you're there once a week for two hours very rarely you will have people popping in the stream unless you have some kind of following already and that connects me to my next point is if you're not live you lose something so that you lose viewers you lose money in this case because if you're not live you can't make a revenue and also yes to be fair there are vods but who do you think is gonna go and watch a vod like seriously unless you have a million followers unless you're live vods are irrelevant last but the biggest point is once you signed a twitch affiliate contract twitch as ownership of your content for the first 24 hours wait what yep that's right when you sign your contract which is affiliate contract for the first 24 hours uh, Twitch owns your content, of course, at the time that they're recording this video. So this is why you cannot multi-stream. But if you want to stop your stream now on Twitch and straight away go live again on another platform, you can. But Twitch owns your content and they can do whatever they want with it. How do you feel about Twitch using or misusing your content? Now we have all the facts. Just start to have a feeling of what my final opinion on this is. Here we go. If you're live streaming for fun, Twitch is your friend because of the community and the integrations. Here is where we draw the line between live streaming and content creation. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you should know my opinion. Content creation is no pain, no gain. Your so-called success is measured by your effort and your knowledge not numbers final verdict do you want to grow as a streamer and a content creator avoid twitch at all costs i said it <laughs> well feels good taking off my chest <laughs> now should you still live stream if you still like it then bloody oath but where excellent question dr watson <laughs> um the only two platforms that i feel i can recommend are youtube and trovo Trouble, I made two deep dive videos and uh and I have the most recent updated one at the end of this video. I will link it. Check it out. And well, YouTube is the most comprehensive platform on the market with the biggest audience. Join me to deep dive into YouTube and give you my thoughts and opinion as a small content creator slash live streamer. Let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, don't forget to pop the like button that way youtube will share this video so i can help more people thanks for watching and as usual happy creating